In this video, we will be discussing managing instruments in mode of wave stocks, forex pairs, futures contracts, indices, or any other asset classes are generally referred to as instruments. The available instruments will depend on the broker or data service that you selected when initially creating the workspace. When you create the workspace initially, what happens is mode of wave will speak to the API and pull a list of all available instruments. Now, anytime you search for a symbol, for instance, your drop-down list here, all these symbols come from your local database, which is found here. You may find that you do not want all these symbols, or perhaps you want to declutter your list a bit, or sometimes you may need to also define your own instruments. So that can be done via the Configure Instruments menu. And from here, you have the option to search, import, uh, define, uh, custom, edit, delete, as, long, as well as with some other advanced functionality here. So for example, if we had, let's say we did not want to see any US pairs here, we never refer to them we can select them uh, either one individually or as a group using your shift key and then you can click on delete and they're no longer available in your list and if we go under search here now your local database if we type in the USD the ones that we deleted are not available now the import and custom instruments, that will be a separate video. With define instruments, what happens sometimes is when MotorWave connects to a broker, a list of symbols are transmitted down to MotorWave. With some brokers, it's not a complete list, but it does not mean that they don't, do not provide data for that symbol. In that case, you can define the instrument and then pull the data. I'll give you an example. For instance, I know Google is available with this broker, however, it's not available in the list here. So I can click Define. Under Symbol, I would type in the symbol. For Historical Instrument, most of the time you will not use this, but there may be a case when you want to map this instrument's uh, historical data to another symbol. Here you would list the, the, the display, which symbol you want displayed, and then of course you have the title. The exchange in this case would be NASDAQ. You can select the sector from the list and you can also select the industry group. Now these two fields you can set them as column in your watch lists and quote sheets to, to view that information and description as well. Uh, description for instance shows up here along in the listed instrument table. Okay then you click OK and then if I type in Google and now shows. If I click on search, it will also show in my local database. And then if I double click it, provided that I defined it correctly, a chart will show. Okay, now advanced offers two additional options. One is to clear all the historical price data currently found on your hard drive. And what that will do is it'll clear it out. That way, anytime you load a chart, it will send out a request for historical data and populate the chart and remove unused exchanges any exchanges that are listed or that you've additionally listed um, here for example that are not being used you can then go ahead and by clicking that MotorWay will determine what's not being used and purge it from the list okay so that's it for managing instruments and we'll see you in the next video